Hi, and welcome to another Decred News Update. This week is very exciting because the vote to decentralize the Decred Treasury by changing Decred's consensus rules has just begun. Stakeholders will vote on chain to decide whether to approve or deny these new consensus rules. It's important all stakeholders have their voting preferences set, so their vote is counted when their ticket is chosen to vote. All users can, of course, view the progress of this vote by visiting voting.decred.org. The vote needs a 75% yes approval and a 10% quorum in order to pass. Once the vote ends with voter approval, the chain will automatically hard fork with the new code implemented. Or if the vote is rejected, the new code will remain dormant. The Decred Treasury is worth over 100 million US dollars as of this video. So this vote is substantial and is arguably the biggest consensus vote in the five-year history of Decred. Having a clearly defined system of governance built directly into the protocol has proven to be an excellent way to perform blockchain upgrades in a seamless, permissionless, and drama-free matter. Most cryptocurrencies rely on some sort of central planning committee or foundation to make decisions. This leads to centralization and the creation of power structures, community infighting, and it also leaves coin holders with no say in the future of the project. Simply put, it is not sustainable. Decred version 1.6.1 has arrived. This update fixes some issues people were having with the privacy mixer not working, and also fixes some bugs with the new VSPD staking. It also displays how much of your DCR is waiting to be confirmed. The results from 1.6.1 are best displayed in the privacy chart. Decred privacy participation has hit a new all-time high, and highest percentage. Privacy participation hit a new all-time high of 407,000 Decred mixed in a single day. 41.84% of the total circulating supply is currently mixed, which is also a new high. Staking participation hit a new all-time high with 58.53% of the total supply staked. Ticket prices also shot up to over 216 Decred per ticket, which is just shy of the all-time high of 220 Decred. The Decred hash rate has been exploding upwards, up 38.09% in the last 30 days. In February, the Treasury received 10,444 DCR and spent 3,010 DCR. Using February's daily average DCR USD rate of $113, this is $1.2 million received and $342,000 spent. In patch version 1.6.1, the wallet makes sure it creates an extra transaction to make enough outputs for a VSP ticket purchase, fixing the not enough UTXOs error. The upcoming desktop wallet GoDCR has added Security Tools UI, implemented Logic for a Settings page, implemented VSPD staking support, implemented stake shuffle account mixing, and has implemented watch-only wallet imports. DCR ROS was updated to version 1.4.10, DCR Dex patch version 0.1.5 is out. This fixes a number of bugs like handling orders that have somehow lost their funding coins. The Dex order books continue to be filled with many trades being executed. Work is still ongoing to make the Dex more accessible. A new wallet intended for expert level users has been released. Created by developer Peter Zen, this wallet offers encrypted configuration, solo staking support, coin control, and more. The app is written in Go and TypeScript using React and Redux frameworks. The name of the wallet is Koala, which means whale in Hawaiian. Peter says Koala is a DCR front-end wallet started for his own needs which weren't covered in Decrediton. There was also some discussion about ticket splitting. There has been some community chat around ticket splitting which is not supported in the latest 1.6 release, as it is not compatible with the new form of staking. While it is unfortunate that users with smaller amounts of Decred cannot stake and get yields without ticket splitting, it should be noted ticket splitters were never able to cast votes of their own, thus making the system only useful to collect proof-of-stake rewards, and not for actual governance purposes. Users with smaller amounts of Decred can still contribute by mixing their coins, using Politea, and possibly even working for Decred. Maybe we will see a solution in the future for users with smaller amounts of Decred to participate in staking, but as of now, you do indeed need a full amount in order to stake. Now let's look at community updates. I've released a new staking tutorial for the VSPD staking system. This makes staking even easier than ever and allows for mixnet integration. Decred researcher Checkmate was on Real Vision to discuss blockchain analysis and Decred. The challenge with proof of work, and we're seeing this with Bitcoin's taproot upgrade, very, very hard to implement technological upgrades. It takes a long time, it's, it's very slow, it's very, very political, uh, and it's, it, there is risk, right? There is a risk associated with actually introducing that new code because the whole network isn't in sync when it upgrades. It's, it's upgrade by optional. There are things that need to happen, right? Technology upgrades and evolves and innovation happens. And having an ability to actually implement a upgrade is, is, is quite important. But the question is, how do you do that in a safe and secure manner? So what Decred's done is it's got your proof of work as the, 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 the every block is proof of work mined. 
but it also has a proof of stake layer. And, the, and that essentially is the, almost a two-factor authentication. So every block that gets mined then goes into the proof of stake validation. It allows stakeholders to essentially veto miners, but it also allows them to implement and have a governance layer that exists on top of. It's almost Bitcoin um, crossed with special drawing rights is probably the, the, the best analogy that I've, uh, I've, I've come across. It is Bitcoin with that scarcity element, but it also has a, a governance layer that's built on top. And that allow, it's essentially a DAO. You can view the full episode on Real Vision Crypto by signing up on their website. The new Decred in Depth series from Eduardo Limo has arrived. Eduardo live streams the episodes on his YouTube channel, and they are later edited and uploaded to the primary Decred YouTube channel. The first episode features Decred contractor Insaf Nori from Morocco. What are some of the common hurdles uh and problems that people are facing in understanding the message of Decred? Okay, so uh, through my experience in uh, explaining Decred to people, uh, it's, uh, it's the way you represent the project to everyone. So when you talk to devs, it will be so much easier to explain the project for them. But when you, when you pr represent the project so normal people, you need really to find simple words and uh, an easy way to explain things to them. And I think what uh, helps uh, a lot is uh, the demonstration. For example, you can uh, just uh, open the wallet and uh, show people how transactions work, how privacy work, how staking work. This way you, you attract the attention of people and they are really interested in it, and they, and you are sure that uh, some of them will uh, download the, the wallet and they will uh, try to to use it that way. The second episode features Decred developer Matthias Giovanni. Why is Lightning Network so important? Um, and alongside that, do you think Lightning is overrated, underrated, or properly rated today? The concept of the Lightning Network as a second layer as a second level network, as a second level scaling solution uh, is definitely, definitely necessary. Uh, any, any blockchain based on, on the Bitcoin idea of having a single uh, blockchain with limited on-chain capacity is going to need a second level solution for scaling. I think there's a lot of improvements that are needed in Lightning, especially uh, regarding epi what I call episodic wallets, that is wallets that come online only for limited interaction with the Lightning Network. Lightning, as it stands today, it is geared towards long-lived nodes. So you put up your Lightning node and it's going to be online most of the time. Or what are some of the most exciting developments in the Lightning pipeline? So I think that the the most the most exciting development that I think it's uh, useful or that's going to be useful are PTLCs, which are uh, a different type of, of payment uh, mechanism in Lightning. Instead of generating a random number and a hash challenge, you generate a, a random private key and you bind the payment to the to the public key corresponding to that private key. And that allows a large number of interesting operations. You can build escrow operations in Lightning. You can build uh, decentralized oracles. You can build uh, decentralized uh, contracts. Decred Society has a new video about being your own bank and how to protect your funds. In the past, it's always been about um, banks holding on and securing your money. But now we kind of have a system that says actual fact, I feel like opting out. I feel like I'm holding on to this myself and I feel like kind of not giving you all the power. So this is the, the thought is how many people can you actually trust? Can you actually trust anybody? Now, governments give us lots of lots of security and they give us lots of insurances that actual fact these people can because it's it's regulated. But in the past 10, 15 years, we've seen these things break down and not in the favor of, of the consumer or the, the smaller person. So. The, the point I'm making here is, would you trust a stranger in the street with your money? Um, so why do you readily trust 
a faceless establishment like a bank and your keys are your money so if you don't back up your seed when you're you're first creating your wallet you know and you your computer dies and your hard drive dies or whatever you lose it all okay so you need to make sure that you are securing your your private keys um in several different places that are uh, all secure that no one else can get their hands on. Decred contractor Insaf Nori was on Inside Blockchain to talk about her work for Decred and crypto adoption in Morocco. I also do do traduction of uh, the most uh, important articles about Decred into Arabic, so so that Arabic people can also read about uh, blockchain technology and about Decred in Arabic and uh, and understand about it. I do also content uh, content creation. I do videos about uh, blockchain and uh, Decred in Arabic. On Politea, we have one new proposal up for vote. The moderation proposal is here to be renewed for the year 2021. This work involves actively monitoring Decred chats across platforms such as Matrix, Reddit, Discord, Telegram, and Politea to keep out spam and other bad actors, as well as the consistent monitoring of chats to keep them in line. The monthly limit for all activities will remain at $1,500, with the expected amount of $800. For 11 months of 2021, this translates to a $16,500 limit and $8,800 expected. One user commented the chats helped him fall down the decrypt rabbit hole. Voting is already underway heavily in favor of yes at 95%. The open source research 2021 proposal passed with a 75% voter approval and a voter turnout of 60%. The Decred Journal 2021 proposal passed with 92% approval and a voter turnout of 51%. Thanks for watching this Decred news update. Again, be sure to follow the on-chain voting progress at voting.decred.org as we witness history made within the Decred project. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at decred.org.